So I want to give question number 14 as homework. Why? Because already I did question number 13. Difference between the simple interest and the compound interest on sum of money for 3 years at 10 percent per annum is rupees 558. Find the sum. So this is question number 14. So already I did the similar sum in question number 13. So therefore question number 13 and 14 are similar to each other. Therefore I am giving this sum as homework. So do it in your home. Now I will move on to question number 15. So it says the difference between compound interest for one year compounded half yearly and simple interest for one year on a certain sum of money on a certain sum that means we don't know the principal amount at 10 percent per annum is rupees 360 find the sum so difference between the compound interest and simple interest they are given 360 on what basis they are given the difference we don't know that means we don't know the sum so first what you have to write what is the data they are given so here also one year. So time is given one year. Rate of interest they are given 10 percent. Rate of interest they are given 10 percent. And uh, uh, difference between compound interest and uh, simple interest they are given rupees 360. They are asking us to find out what is sum, that is principal amount. So, how we did this question number 13? Same method we have to follow here. Let sum be rupees yes. First, we will find out what is simple interest. Simple interest is equal to PTR by PTR by 100. So what is P? P is nothing but a X into. So time is how much they are given? Time is only one year. So that is 1 into. What is rate of interest they are given per annum? 10 percent. So 10 by 100. So 1 zero here, 1 zero here cancels. So what is the answer you will get? Uh, X by so this is simple interest. Equation number 1. Now we will find out the compound interest. So not to find out compound interest, they are saying see compounded half yearly. So compounded half yearly means so which formula I have to apply compounded half yearly means here. First I will find out amount, then I will find out the compound. So amount is equal to P into 1 plus R by 2 into 100 whole to the power of 2 n. Substitute the balance. Amount is equal to P means we have to take it as X 1 plus so what is the rate of interest? 10 by 2 into 100. So how many half years? So year is 1. So therefore 2 into 1. So 1 year. So 2 half years we will get. So simplify this. A is equal to X into. So this will be cancelled here. 1 0 1 0 will be cancelled. So what we can see here? 1 plus 1 by 20. 1 plus 1 by 20 whole to the power of 2. That is equal to x into. So what is x in here? 20 is the LCM. So what we can see? 20 plus 1, 21. So 2 times LCM. Now, 21 into 21, 441. X by 20 into 20, 400. So, this is amount, but we don't want the amount. We want the compound interest. Compound interest is equal to amount minus principal. So, amount is how much? 441. X by 400 minus. So, 
give it as equation number. So this is compound interest. Now they are saying the difference between compound interest and simple interest is how much? 360. So compound interest minus simple interest is equal to 360. So substitute the values 441x by 400 minus x minus what is simple interest we got x by 10 is equal to how much 316 this implies so now what is the lcm of 410 10 40 1 10 4 400 is the LCM. 400 is the LCM. So what I will say here? 441 X minus here 1 into 400, 400 X minus 40 X is equal to 3. So that is nothing but 441x minus minus 400 minus 40 minus 440x. I have add both the minus means we have to add 400 is equal to 360. So I will continue here. So 441x minus 440x is nothing but what? The x y 400 equal to 360 cross multiplication x into 1 x x is equal to 400 into 360 into 400 so multiply 4 0 0 4 6 yeah, 24 14 here yeah, 2 0 so rupees 1 lakh 44 so what they are given here, the difference between the compound interest for one year, compounded half yearly and the simple interest for one year on a certain sum of money under 10% per annum is rupees 360 year. But on what basis, on what sum they have given the difference, we don't know. That means we have to find out the principal amount. So time is given, rate is given, compound interest, difference between the compound interest and the simple interest is 360 rupees there. So what is principal? First we have to find out the Simple interest. We got simple interest is equal to x by 10 equation. Next, they are saying compounded of yearly. Therefore, I am not taking the direct in this compound interest formula. I am taking the of year formula. Compound interest of yearly. That is, a is equal to b into 1 plus r by 2 into 100 whole to the power of 2 years. I substituted the values. I got the amount as 441x by 400. So, compound interest means amount minus principal. That is, 441x by 400 equation minus x equation number 2. So we have given the equation already here. Ci minus si is 360. Ci minus si is 360. So substitute the values. Simplify it. Finally, how much you got the answer? X sum 144,000. So note down this sir.